Sophia, can I go out and play? Asked Mike. No, Mike, it is very hot outside, replied Sophia. I do not like the sun. It is so hot. I wish it were night all the time. I love the moonlight and the stars, said Mike. But Mike, the sun is also a star, said Sophia. Then why does it come out during the day? Asked Mike, puzzled. The sun does not come out or move. The sun is a very large star at the center of the solar system. All the planets revolve around the sun in a fixed path called the orbit, said Sophia. How is that possible? wondered Mike. It's because the sun has a very strong gravitational force. This keeps the planets in their orbits, explained Sophia. Now I understand the sun is important because it keeps the earth on a fixed path. Nodded Mike. The sun is also important because it is the main source of heat and light on the earth. Without the sun, the earth would be a cold and dark place. There would be no life, said Sophia. Is the sun very far away from us? Asked Mike. Yes, it is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. Replied Sophia. Sophia, how does sunlight reach us if the sun is so far away? Light can travel in space. Even though the sun is far away, it takes only around 8 minutes for sunlight to reach the earth, said Sophia. When sunlight reaches the earth, some of it is absorbed by the earth's atmosphere and some of it is reflected back into space, she added. This maintains a temperature balance on the earth, explained Sophia. Sophia, why would the earth be lifeless without the sun? inquired Mike. Plants use sunlight to make food. This process is called photosynthesis. All animals and humans rely on plants for food and oxygen. Without the sun, photosynthesis would not be possible and eventually, all life would end, said Sophia. Then, why does the sun disappear at night? asked Mike. Mike, the sun does not disappear. It only seems so because the earth rotates on its axis. Sophia said, let's say that this globe is the earth and this ball of wool is the sun. She continued, when the earth rotates on its axis, it is daytime for the part of the earth which faces the sun. In the other part, facing away from the sun, it is night. The earth also revolves around the sun. As it rotates, this causes the different seasons. Sophia continued. Sophia, why does the sun rise in the east and set in the west? Wondered Mike. This is because of the rotation of the earth. The earth rotates to the east and that's why the sun appears to rise in the east and move towards the west across the sky, replied Sophia. That's wonderful to know, Sophia. It's almost evening. Let's go out and play, Mike said. All right, Mike, smiled Sophia. The End <laughs>